Hello, all my cool YouTube followers and all the other people around the world who listen to my stuff. Um, I haven't done a video like this in a while, but I keep getting people saying, why don't you do another Buddhist video? And I don't feel like doing a deep study Buddhist video yet because I'm researching some things when I have time that are going to be deeper than you're willing to, to dive yet in the deep waters. Okay, so I'm just going to read an old letter I wrote back in uh, January 2nd, 2013. Dear President Keita, I write him often and I don't always send them. Sometimes they're not resolved yet and I wait till they try to resolve and sometimes I forget to send them and sometimes I do. I think I sent this one because this is when I re released my last CD and it was uh, on his birthday. So January 2nd, it says a letter to my mentor in life on his birthday. Okay. I published this a long time ago on a couple sites, but I sent it to him and I enclosed my CD. So here it goes. After three years of intense struggle, I have finally finished my latest CD, quote, The Beginning Is Here, end quote, which I released on December 21st, 2012, and I put enclosed for your enjoyment. I was very fortunate that three years ago, while I was going through a very painful time in my life, my divorce, that I happened to find the most incredible music producer who just happened to live close to me in Niigata, Japan. He is from France, and he, like myself, is married to a Japanese person and is just temporarily temporarily living here in Japan. So we both actually left Japan after the CD was done. I just left way later than him. And he went through more struggle than I'm going through, I think, for a couple of years. Okay, anyway, that's my follow-up letter after this. I'm kind of giving you some details of what hasn't yet resolved. Okay. With this new CD, my producer, Remy Desroques, has taken my music to the next level of its evolution. However, shortly after my divorce in 2010, I found out I was going to be forced to retire from my job with no retirement pay because I had done the max limit of five years on the government teaching program called the JET program or Japanese Exchange Teaching Program. I actually, in my prefecture, it was allowed to go past five years. You just go, get on a different contract. But um, I had said I'm not sure yet, not at the right time. And then a month later, I said, okay, I am sure now I'm going to stay. Because I had just been, I was going through divorce and everything, and I was not sure whether I was going to stay here or not. And I applied for some graduate school. So I, I told them like a month late, and then they, didn't, they said, sorry, we already found someone. Actually, they didn't. They had a 10 people interview the same day I interviewed for the job. And one of them was the person I introduced to my ex wife who married her. Uh, anyway. Where am I? Okay. Although I never thought I would have stayed five years in Japan, I thought I might only be here for a year or two. So this is in my fifth year in Japan. I was actually there for uh, how long? Twelve years or almost thirteen. Okay. I wanted to stay a little longer, at least long enough to finish my CD. However, after my forced retirement, I couldn't find any other work in Niigata, Japan, for over six months. Fortunately, after chanting a lot about it, I managed to get unemployment insurance from Hello Work. Hello Work is the uh, name of the unemployment insurance in Japan. With the, translation, with the translation help of a senior men's division member in Niigata, um, <clears throat> Mr. Yoshida Kogen, I was able to collect payments for almost the full six months that I was unemployed. During that six months, while I was also looking for work in Niigata, <clears throat> And outside of Niigata, even in other countries, I decided to use the time on the weekends to do what I had hoped to do for full five years I had been in Japan, to finally start my All Japan Music Tour. For the three, for the three years that I've been working on finishing this CD, every spring and summer, let me take a drink. Every spring and summer, <clears throat> I have traveled all over northern Japan and now some parts of central Japan, performing my music at different train stations, selling my CDs, and getting tips. I have been very surprised that Japanese people are much more generous with tipping me for playing music than I had ever experienced in my hometown, <clears throat> Orange County, California, where I performed my music for many years. I found out, actually, since being back since March, that people in California will tip a lot more if you go out on the streets like I was doing in Japan. So now I just do that exclusively because people don't really tip people that play at bars. And the people who run the bars don't like to pay the people either. 
unless they had a cover charge and they don't want to do a cover charge because then um, they wouldn't get enough people in the bar. Some places do, but they have to have a band that is really big in that area, maybe. I don't know. I haven't been in a band like that. Okay, so solo artists rarely would get such a gig where they can actually make money. You're better playing on the streets. Okay, back to the letter. This spring and summer, 2013, with my new CD release, I'm hoping to take my annual music tour further south to more parts of central and southern Japan. I hope soon to play every major city in Japan. It's been my dream ever since reading the precepts for brass band at age 10 to quote spread my music to all corners of the world and that's what it says in the it says spread your I put my in uh, brackets and although now I'm I've only performed in two countries Japan and the US I feel it is the start of realizing my dreams this last year 2012 was the greatest year of change in my life one year after my divorce as I was just finding a new job, I got married again. My wife doesn't yet practice Buddhism with me. In fact, she is very much against my Buddhist practice, much like my father was with my mother when I was a baby. But I have faith that someday she will see in my example how amazing Nichiren Buddhism is and she will take faith in it or at least become supportive of my practice. So that hasn't yet ha happened yet. That's why I'm in America and she's in Japan. But anyway... We're working on it. Human revolution can be a long, arduous trip sometimes. <clears throat> okay, let me take another drink. I just got back from body surfing, so I just took a shower. Okay, shortly after getting married, my wife got pregnant, but she soon lost the baby within about four months of getting pregnant due to extreme morning sickness, which lasted 24 hours a day for the full four months. Because my first wife suffered the same thing twice, this was my third time to almost become a father, only to lose the babies before they were born. Although I hope those babies survived, I always felt that there are enough new babies coming into the world, and if we want to become parents, we could always adopt. But seeing how much my first wife suffered from losing two babies, and seeing how my current wife was suffering so intensely after the same thing happened, I finally chanted that I wanted my wife to to really have a baby and know and know she could do it even though she was now 39 years old after chanting intensely about it within about five months she became pregnant again but just like with my first pregnancy with our first pregnancy I didn't even say my R, R I just added that in <laughs> but just like with the first pregnancy and with my first wife's two pregnancies someone's calling me just stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. How can I pause this thing? I'm going to call her later. Okay, someone's calling me. It's 444. Hey, magical. And I called someone at 333 a little while ago. Okay. I think someone was just calling me to tell me it's 444. I'll call her back. Okay. Although I hope these babies survive. Where was I? Okay. But just like with my first pregnancy. I said my again. It's not even written there. And just like with the first pregnancy and with my first wife's two pregnancies, she suffered 24 hours a day, every day with the most intense and unrelenting, mor quote, morning sickness. It wasn't called morning. They shouldn't call it morning sickness because it was all day. So all four of the pregnancies that I've ever been through with a wife, my first wife and now my wife now, was really intense. I felt so hopeless to help her with this sickness, even though I chanted so much about it every day. Her younger sister said she also had the same intense morning sickness 24 hours a day throughout the whole nine month plus of her pregnancy. My, the, the whole nine plus months of her pregnancy with her now 10 year old daughter. I couldn't bear to watch my wife suffer. Right before becoming pregnant, we bought tickets to go to the U.S. for Christmas vacation in 2011. But a week or so after buying the tickets, we found out she was pregnant again. So even though I wanted her to go with me and I didn't want to go alone, she kept insisting I go to the U.S. to see my family without her. I chanted a lot about it and I decided to go without her for the 10-day vacation, even though I, know, I knew it was going to be hard to enjoy my vacation knowing my wife was at home suffering 24 hours a day. 
But for some reason, I knew something life-changing was going to happen to me in the U.S. on that vacation. And I was chanting so much to make that a reality. And in fact, it did. But it was nothing like I expected. I had hoped maybe, after more than 25 years of trying to fulfill my music dreams, that maybe I would find some big music connection when I set up a small concert to play in California during that vacation. But for the concert I did, very few people showed up, and it wasn't anything amazing. But the big change came the day after Christmas, a few days after the un uneventful concert. During Christmas lunch, I tried to quickly swallow some bread and turkey at the same time, but they both got stuck in my throat. It was the first and last bite I had of the great Christmas feast my family prepared for me until the next morning. I was choking on them for over eight hours, and I threw up every bit of water over and over that I tried to drink to make it go down. Not having any medical insurance in the U.S. and having most of my licensed relatives just consume a lot of alcohol with their Christmas lunch, I wasn't going to call an ambulance to take me to the hospital on Christmas Day. That would have cost a fortune in the U.S., which I didn't have. So I chanted all day that that turkey and bread would somehow go down my throat without me dying first. And it slowly seemed to go down further and further over the whole grueling eight-hour period. Finally, at about 2 a.m. in the morning, after throwing up so many times, it went down naturally, though a little painfully. I realized as I was trying to swallow all night and throwing up all night that my wife had gone through for the I realized what my wife had gone through for the last at least 5 months as she couldn't swallow any food without throwing up and many times she tried to throw up but just had dry heaves as she had nothing in her body to throw up one of my younger brothers who witnessed what I had gone through had some new energy healing method he was learning that he wanted to teach me about so I wouldn't have any more such swallowing problems. So the next day he taught me all about the amazing energy meth healing method. This was the amazing thing I needed to learn and the reason I believe I went I really went on this trip. My music was going to have to wait a little longer. The healing technique is called the body code, and the emotion code is one aspect of it. It was discovered by a chiropractor and craniopath who had an office in Orange County, California for over 17 years, just a few miles from Soka University of America, where I graduated in 2005. The doctor, Dr. Bradley Nelson, had, had combined every different type of modern and ancient healing modalities into one extremely all-encompassing and easy-to-learn method which includes correcting nutritional imbalances, pH, food, herbs, nutrients, dehydration, and magnetic field deficiencies, structural imbalances, which is in the bones, nerves, muscles, connective tissue, organs, or glands, toxicological imbalances, heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum imbalances, chemical imbalances, and microbial toxicities. Um, energy imbalances are emotional, post-traumatic, allergies, intolerances, mental or offensive energies trapped in the body. Pathogenic imbalances, parasites, fungal, bacteria, viral, and mold problems. And circulatory imbalances, which uh, includes problems in the organs, glands, chakras, disconnections, and acupuncture meridian imbalances. So this was actually the first uh, body code mind maps. Actually, the new ones is way more encompassing than this. I thought those were all encompassing, but we're going to learn in the future it's going to be more and more all, all encompassing because there's no there's no uh, end to the infiniteness we all truly be as infinite beings. Okay, so on the way back to Japan on the plane and every day for a month, when I came back to Japan, I studied how to do this healing method and I chanted to perfect my ability with it very quickly. I realized right away that it could be used to take away morning sickness, morning sickness very quickly. Sometimes, something most doctors say there is still no cure for. I no longer believe that. After getting used to doing the technique and making sure I was doing it right, 
I tried it on my wife, and her morning sickness went away almost immediately. After a week or so, the morning sickness came back, but not as intensely, and quickly I was able to make it go away again. I had to do this every few weeks for almost the rest of her pregnancy, but I made it go away quickly, often within seconds every time, and she stayed feeling healthy for many days after each session. As it got really close to delivery date, the sickness never came back. And on Umi no Hi, which is uh, Ocean Day, July 16, 2012, my wife, at age 40, gave birth to our very healthy and beautiful daughter, Rosina Irene Kobayashi. After first getting rid of my wife's morning sickness, I tried this healing on all my many health problems, which I had suffered from for too many years. My allergies had been very bad and I had not had a sense of smell for many years. And in 2007, I had a nose operation to remove many polyps from my nasal cavities, which allowed me to smell for the first time in many years, but for only a week or two and then the polyps grew back. I wasn't going to go back and spend 10 days in the hospital for another nose operation and I tried many different herbal remedies to control the allergies all with very little success. I had also since 1999 had extreme lower back problems and would come and that would come and go and seemed to be getting worse and worse over the years. In 2008 when I finally went to see a back doctor in Japan I had seen acupuncturists, sports medicine therapists, and massage therapists before that, all with little lasting change. He told me I needed a back surgery, but I didn't want to do surgery. So I went to a chiropractor, and the chiropractor was able to take away the pain for a few months, just like an acupuncturist was able to do before him. So after about two years of going to a chiropractor with Oh, sorry, going to a chiropractor about every couple of months and spending a lot of money, it seemed my underlying reason for the pain wasn't going away, even though the pain would go away for a few weeks or sometimes a month. Also, the swallowing problem that I had on Christmas Day, though it was the worst I had ever experienced, had been reoccurring had been a reoccurring problem which came and went many times before that Christmas for at least four years. Along with all these medical issues, I had also suffered many years with itchy skin, leg cramps, skin splint, or shin splints, indigestion, and other gas-related problems. We won't get into the farts. Okay, for all, the, for all these problems, I had always looked for natural cures, and only a few times did I try taking pharmaceutical drugs, and I always stopped taking them quickly because I didn't like how they made me feel, usually worse. So, I have chanted many, many hours over the last 20 plus years to try to overcome all these medical problems with little to no success, and most of them seem to be getting worse. This despite the fact that I have been working out at gyms regularly since I was 17 years old, have been doing yoga for a number of years, and I had always tried to eat extremely healthy and naturally, often organic, and I was vegetarian, then vegan for a few years, which didn't help any of these problems. And I had been taking so many different types of herbs and other homeopathic remedies for many years. So I decided with this new energy healing program, The Body Code, which helped my wife overcome her morning sickness very quickly, I was going to get rid of all these problems. Although it took me about six months working on myself with this program about every other day or at least once a week, every day I seem to be getting much better in all areas. Now, after one year working on myself, I can happily report I am completely pain-free, almost completely gas-free. Only every once in a while I have a little gas, but it's not bad. My skin has completely stopped itching and looks very healthy. I have not had a problem swallowing, and my weight went down to below my pre soka University all-you-can-eat cafeteria days. <laughs> and at almost 42 years old, I, took, I look and feel younger than I've ever felt.
That was then. Now I'm even younger than that. I was so much older then, I'm younger than that now. Yes, I did steal that from Bob Dylan. But it is true. Okay. So, where am I? I look and feel younger than I've ever felt. If any issue comes up now, I can quickly find which of the six kind of imbalances is causing the symptoms, and I can quickly correct them, and the problem goes away. The greatest thing about this energy healing technique is it works at any distance. So now I have clients all over the world that I have helped get better from many medical and emotional issues. I also work on many people's children and pets. I have now complete, completed my emotion code certification and I'm working on my body code certification. That was back in 2013 I was working on it, but I decided uh, I don't need it. I'm good enough on the thing. I don't need to be certified. I'm already certified as a Bodhisattva of the Earth, Bodhisattva Jiyuno Bodhisattva of Freedom, because I was at the ceremony in the air. That was the only certification I needed. Okay, and I will soon have freedom to go anywhere in the world anytime I want and work on people anywhere I am or at any distance. So my music dreams have in no way abated in the slightest, but I feel with the energy healing technique, I can now gain the financial freedom to take my music and writing to every corner of the world, as has been my dream for most of my life. While I was working on healing myself and working on finishing my CD, my wife encouraged me to enter one of my songs into a radio song competition in, J in Niigata. One of my songs on this CD, Sachi says, was selected in the top 10 out of over 100 song entries to be performed in the final song competition. In that song competition, my song was selected by the audience as the audience choice, and I was able to play it on a local radio station in Niigata, FM Port, along with another song I co-wrote with a Japanese friend, I Am Love. After writing and publishing two books and now releasing three CDs, I'm re I'm ready to finally accomplish all my dreams, and I'm determined to do it for Kozum Rufu. Yours in health and happiness, Timothy Janakas, or Tim Janakas Van Kempen, Soak University class of 2005. So actually, to follow up on this, the next year after that, I actually won grand prize, and it was the last year of the competition. I was the only person two years in the same competition that won. And actually, the reason why I came to California is I was in another big song competition that I thought I was training so strongly... I knew I was going to win, and I didn't win. So sometimes you know the future, but sometimes a different future happens, and you know what? It always happens for the good. So this is going to be a continued, long, long uh, continuation. So uh, I wrote a few other letters after this that I haven't yet sent, which I'm kind of com get to the resolution of so many issues. So I'll read those soon. Maybe I'll read them as they're not yet completed soon, too. Okay, love you guys, uh, have fun, enjoy your rest of your day, I just did a killer body surfing day, I almost got eaten by, eaten by a dog, big big brown dog chased me on my motorcycle, he was a pit bull and I called the shelters and I called the 911 and I called them all and they said, you, we are busy because it's a holiday, we're on the beach, anyway, that's my uh, western accent that comes up every now and then when I start channeling uh, Garth Brooks. Actually, I don't even know what he sounds like. Okay, love you guys all. See you next time. Over, over and out.